it's Lindsay and welcome back to my face. I'm filming this on my phone so the quality might not be the best or it might be better than my camera. We're doing a test. So you might notice I have handy dandy notebook. Plot twist, I'm the new Glues Glues. Just kidding. I wanted to do a video talking about five food YouTubers food channels that I think are underrated. Now to be underrated I was looking at people with way less subscribers than they deserve to have and the person that I'm going to talk about with the most subscribers has 300,000 so that's kind of like the most so anyone with a million or more although I love them as you can see I have a lot of those channels linked on my sidebar people that I think um, are doing really good things for the food community on YouTube they're really good educational channels you can check those out but these are five people that I personally watch that I think you should be watching too and the rest of the world isn't and I'm going to tell you a few things about them and why you should be watching them. So, let's get into it. The first channel that I found just recently and I love is called The Bite Shot. They currently have 96,000 subscribers. And their channel is food photography and videography, tips and tricks. And a quote from their channel bio is, You don't need fancy gear to make fabulous food images. So, she's really great. She's in collabs with other people. She basically does instructional videos to so show you like on an iPhone, on a phone, how you can take like DSLR quality camera photos on a budget without spending all kinds of money on equipment, which is great because a lot of people have like a point and shoot digital camera or a phone and they're trying to do cookbooks. There's a chef I know, his cookbook that I have, he shot it entirely with his iPhone and it looks in, like incredible photos. Channel number two, We Can't Cook. It's two guys and they try to make complex foods without looking at a recipe. They currently have 536 subscribers only and they should be have way more, way more views, way more subscribers. They basically think of a recipe or a recipe idea like I saw they did one and it was quiche and they try based on knowledge that they have from other recipes they've made, videos they've seen just things that they know about cooking make a recipe up in their mind for an item and then they go back after and like fact check with a recipe to see if what they did is kind of right it's really interesting so check them out and all these people again are doing it usually by themselves they might have like some of the helps films but they're usually editing and doing all that by themselves um so those are two channels that i've been watching newly recently and i really like them um i don't have much to say about a lot of these because i want to keep it kind of short um, for this video, if you would like to see more information, there will be a blog post that goes along with this that goes a little more in depth and recommends a few specific videos you should watch. So go check that out if you want more information on all of the people I'm talking about. Okay, number three, Not Another Cooking Show currently has 7.1k subscribers. He had a food truck, um, and now he doesn't, and he's wanted a way to show recipes from the food truck that he helped develop and other recipes. Um, basically, he believes that everyone should be able to cook. Cooking is a basic human skill. He has a quote um, in his channel bio from um, Anthony Bourdain, the late great Anthony Bourdain. I'm still so sad that he passed um, from his book, Medium Raw, which I've had and I read. And if you haven't read it, I recommend reading it. It's intense, but it's great. And he believes um, cooking should be a skill. And the, what's really cool is he shares, like, so... When we made this for the restaurant, we got the produce from here, and the cheese from here, and this and that, and the specific names of places where you can go and buy like the same ingredients, where he knows has good quality, which I think is really, really great. And I really love his videos. They're kind of short form. Um, he films, does that himself, but just like in his house, he felt like he had a voice, and he said in his channel bio, he's not that great at writing, like food blog or something, but he wanted to share a voice, so he made the videos. They're super instructional. I watched a video on how to make like a Jose Andres um, fried egg, and I was like mesmerized, and he did chicken parmesan grilled cheese. I've watched several, but not another cooking show. He only has 7.1k subscribers, so let's go and get all these people's subscribers up. I don't know really any of these people personally. The fourth YouTuber I'm going to talk about is someone who I've actually been watching for a while. His name is Sauce Dash, and he only has 19k subscribers, and I watch his videos and the things that he does, and I'm like, we have people like Binging with Babish making somewhat similar content in the way, and Binging with Babish is great, love him, but you can tell that he has like film crew or whatever. Sauce Dash does it himself, films, edits, uploads. Um, in his channel bio, he says, awesome sauce. Recipe, food reviews, 
um, and making food trends and difficult recipes. So something is really cool. If he feels like there's some kind of trend that's kind of blowing up, he will test it out on his channel and kind of see if it's like worth it or not, which I think is really cool. His videos, he's really good at explaining things. He also has like a food blog that goes along with it. All of these people from this video will be linked down below. Please go check them out. Subscribe. If you want to tell them I sent you. They all have way more subscribers than me. So I'm like, who am I to have an opinion? But as someone who went to culinary school and has always enjoyed watching like food YouTubers and stuff, these people are very great and I feel like they deserve more subscribers. I watch a lot of, you know, like I watch Bon Appetit. I watch Hannah Hart, of course. I watch Sorted Food. I watch Byron Talbot. I watch, you know, all these different content creators, but they have over a million subscribers or 500,000 plus and they're getting 100,000 plus views on a video. And I just feel like enough people are they can always use more subscribers because I love them and I want them to succeed. But people like Sean Evans from First We Feast, Hot Ones, or Binging with Babish, me with my lowly 84-ish subscribers isn't going to do much for their channel. So, I like to talk about people in the community I think are making a positive influence. Their videos are great. And yeah, Sawstash, I've been watching him for a while. He's kind of friends with another YouTuber that I watch that I'm going to talk about in a second. And I really like his videos, even in like culinary school, watching his videos when I was about a topic or something. All these people have really great informational videos. Like I said, I'm going to make a blog post that goes along with this. So if you want like these videos that I think are great, a list, kind of a listicle will be um, over there. If you want more information, linked down below. The fifth and final person I'm going to talk about, again, I love all of these people, but this person um, has kind of a special place right here. His name is David Seymour, and he just hit 300,000 subscribers. He's the person on this list with by far the most subscribers, but again, he could always use more. So he is 22. He will turn 23 in March. So he's my age, and he films, cooks, and edits everything by himself. He is self-taught. So some things about these other people, they're also self-taught, but a lot of them have, it's clear that they have culinary backgrounds, or they've been like, you know, um, Bite Shot obviously has like a career in um, food photography and videography and like I said not another cooking show ran up like worked on a food truck I'm not sure about We Can't Cook that will be on my blog but like Sauce Dash a lot of these people have cooking knowledge and experience and uh, David started this as a um, like a teenager he had a, right, a YouTube channel where he'd make trick shot videos and then he made videos with his brother and then he just one time he decided to do BuzzFeed tests since 2015. Um, my list can go away now because um, I have been watching him since like his third or fourth BuzzFeed test. Basically, the viral 30 second videos you see on your feed and you're like, you did what to a brownie? There's no way that actually works. Well, he decided to prove BuzzFeed right or wrong and test out their recipes. Um, he's done some BuzzFeed recipes, some DIY tests. I think he's tested a few maybe like taste made recipes but if there's a recipe on BuzzFeed you're thinking about making and you're unsure if it's actually gonna work or not you can go to his channel search and you probably find a video on it um he's taken about a month break but he's getting ready to relaunch his channel um doing the same similar things to what he's been doing but he's got some really cool content coming go check him out um you're probably like wow you know more about him than the others because I actually I've talked to David before I've had several conversations he's been streaming on Twitch and I've been like hanging out in the Twitch live streams. Um, he's, I guess, known of my existence for a while because I've been annoying him on social media because I think he's great. And yeah, um, check him out. Check all of them out. Give them all a subscribe. Again, check out my blog to see more in-depth information. This was just a short like boom, boom, boom. It's probably still long because I can't help but ramble. Also, you like my shirt? I cook. Ha! Um, it's putty and I love puns. So yeah, they're all great. Go check out the five people I mentioned. I may do this in the future with a baking edition. So if there's any people that you really like that are doing great things in the food community on YouTube and you think that I should check them out, any food blogs you recommend that I check out, leave it in the comments down below and go check out my blog. Um, my first post is up already. Um, I have another one going up with this video. And I love you all. Thank you so much for everything. Um, this is really fun. I had time, people weren't home, so I filmed this really quick, so if it seems like I'm, because I am a little bit, breathe. Um, yeah, I love all these people, I made a quick little list on my, 
on a piece of paper, just some short things. Obviously, like I keep saying, I'll go in depth on my blog. Go check them out, send them some love. And yeah, if you um, are a cool person in the community doing good things for the world of food, um, let's chat because I would like to do that as well in the future. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're hungry for videos whenever I actually post. Check out my blog, 51foodie.blogspot.com. You can check me out on all my other social medias. As always, they're linked down below. I love you all. Stay saucy. Bye.